What's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all coming, Chrissy, and let's go ahead and jump into this shit. Now, I know it's been a minute, but this past week has been ridiculous. The drama that's been going on behind these two, sad at this point, especially because it's pertaining to their family and the kids of the family. And it's like, these people want to get posted, they want to get talked about, and they want to get paid. And I know I got a small platform, but I, I ain't trying to feed into that bullshit. But if you guys do want to see updates on those situations, feel free to come down below and I will do it because I does this for y'all but this video is basically an update video on a few things that I talked about this channel Jazz and Tay, King Kaiser and Anne Marie so let's go ahead and jump into it and first talk about Jazz and Tay now Tay has been a little bit inactive off of social media I'm sure she's been doing her thing off camera and just healing in her own way whatever she's going through Jazz on the other hand has actually been more active on her social media especially more active than she was in the beginning of their breakup so she's back on YouTube she's been posting on Instagram and on her TikTok so you know she's living life and it's good to see that she's back doing her shit. I do have to say that Jazz is not the same person. I mean we're growing every single day but Jazz has a whole different vibe. I mean I haven't seen any of her recent videos but it seems like her whole demeanor has changed. It's just like good for you boo. She looking kind of good too. Now pertaining to Jazz and Tay a supporter actually reached out to me in my Instagram DM. Shout out to Shaquilla or Shaquilla. Let me know if I'm saying your name right. But she pointed out to me that she noticed that Tay had as Cash on her story. So I went over to Tay's story. She had both dogs, Louie and Cash. Now most of you may already know that Jazz and Tay had the dog Louie, but they also recently had Cash. So following their breakup, we only seen Tay with Louie. So we could assume that Tay kept Louie and Jazz kept Cash. But now we see Louie and Cash have been reunited with Tay. So I feel like at this point there was some communication going on between Jazz and Tay. And maybe they're on some type of good terms or on some talking terms. Now the footage of Louie and Cash playing together was taken on June 1st so I try to go on their Twitter accounts and Instagram accounts maybe see if there's any other hit that they were probably talking to each other again. This might be nothing but Jazz did post and losing love for motherfuckers I'm supposed to love. Don't treat me like I'm regular cause you know what I'm on. If we locked in I promise I won't ever play about you. Then the other day she said I never get good calls at this time and she posted a sad emoji. So it definitely seems like she might be going through some other stuff but the first few tweets seem to be love related but overall seeing both Louie and Cash together with Tay I feel like it's some indication that they might be on some good terms I feel like they might have been always cordial after the breakup but there was definitely some tension and leftover emotions they had for each other so definitely with the time that has passed like they're probably at a better space now but let's go ahead and talk about King Kaiser so we know that initially when Neek and King Kaiser broke up this was the girl that was rumored to be his girlfriend at the time and it was definitely a little shady because allegedly she was one of the women that he was involved with while he was in a relationship with Neek. Of course she denied it but based off of her tweet like she had a big mouth like she was speaking a lot about the situation and you know kind of trying to deny that they was really talking but like hinting that they was and I always got the vibe that she you know thought more about it than he did she was even on live insinuating that we were gonna see more of her and that we were gonna like her but that seemed to be over as soon as it began and of course it's like listen if you were one of the pieces that this man was engaged with while he was in a relationship you should never expect that to last but anyway that situation is pretty much over and now he has a new girl by the name of Lena so Miss G so let me know like Tell me where you from. Where you from? from. You know. <laughs> you know. Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But I'm basically from New York, too. Mm hmm. You know, dead ass B. Oh. <laughs> yo, B, you got me mad tight, yo. You got me mad tight, yo. So, how old are you? Was 9 plus 10? 21. <laughs> With 21? You're 21. You're good. <laughs> Elena is Puerto Rican. She's from Providence, Rhode Island, which is actually like an hour away from where I live. And that's actually where I hope to move if I do anything in my YouTube career. They've actually been very low-key and when it's low-key, that's how you know it's an actual, genuine, authentic and one of the best relationships you could have. So I, I wanted to um really step aside and do this mukbang with y'all and sit down, introduce y'all to her. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all know who she is and I'm saying it's a close friend. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be real with y'all. Like right now, what we on, like we really just be vibing. Like we really don't be on no other extra stuff that we people making more scenes than what it be. My guys can enjoy chilling with you, vibing with y'all stuff off camera. The genuineness. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I like. That's why I rock with you, friends. Cause like off camera, like I be wanting, like I talk to you and stuff, and like you know how we get down and how we talk and stuff, and I like let you know like the real me before like this part. And I say like this part ain't me, but. It's just different. You gotta make it genuine. Yeah. yeah. Genuine. You have to learn and understand what's real and what's not. And I understand that. You know what I'm saying? And what's definitely You know, I'm vibing with you. Cool. Cool people. Cool Whatever. You cool or whatever. To be honest. Now, she has been featured on his channel. She's been on his channel since April 1st. That's the first time she showed up on his channel. Now, since then, he's definitely dropped a few more videos with her featured in them. But even on social media, like, they're not in each other's likes. They're not in each other's comments. They don't have anything posted of each other. Like, they really came out the other day with a series of pictures on their stories and she even commented on one of his recent photos saying mine but even that comment is deleted so they're really keeping it low key so honestly it seems like they're pretty much together and talking i did look at some elena's tweets to kind of figure out when they started talking but all the tweets i found were pretty recent and they say something about me not being around my boo 24 7 don't sit right with me making up here in your beautiful has to be one of the most purest feelings i'm really in love till the wheels fall off i'm the happy I've ever been to be honest when the love outweighs the hate moving to another state was the best decision I've ever made so I'm not sure if she like moved in with King Kaiser or anything I'm pretty sure she moved to Houston I believe and I'm not sure if King is currently there but it seems like they're happy together it looks like they're happy together and I'd be happy for him like I don't know if people are still hoping him and me get back together but like they're still featuring in videos on their channel they're cordial they're doing their co-parenting they moved on and I feel like it's definitely mature on Nick's part because you know that she was hurt after the breakup and you know he cheated on her so I really applaud her for looking past that especially because that's the father of her kid and you know they're still making money together and still friends so I think Think that's pretty dope now let's go ahead and jump into this Anne Marie situation now it's been six months six fucking months since we heard anything about the situation anything about the investigation anything about anything now some of you guys have the same questions that I'm just gonna answer off rip one of them being is Jonathan the victim of the shooting and Anne Marie's best friend is he still alive yes he is still alive and is Anne Marie in jail no she is not in jail she's been out for a couple months now on bond pretty shortly after she was deemed as a suspect of the shooting. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have a whole video about like 15, 14 and a half minutes about the situation. And that video is actually my second most viewed video on my channel. And it's the second video that I got to reach over 100,000. I just want to put that in there because I'm very grateful for that. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. But in that video, we talk about what happened, reports, the shooting, who Amory is, who the victim is, and was the victim really just her best friend? No, I ain't trying to like flex or nothing, but I really did my detective shit out there, and we even looked at the tweets of some of Jonathan's colleagues, teammates, and they also had their own opinions on Amory and whether or not they was really just best friends. But basically, it is alleged that the shooting occurred because Jonathan cheated on Anne Marie. So even though Jonathan is said to be her best friend, it's actually rumored that they were more than best friends, even though Anne Marie was rumored to have an actual boyfriend on the side, or maybe Jonathan was the side, I don't know. And I question whether or not that's really her best friend. It really could have just been like a situation where this is my best friend, but we're still fucking. I mean, that could happen with no strings attached, okay? But digging deep into the tweets of his friends, and even of both Anne Marie and Jonathan that day, it seemed like it was just more going on. But again, go ahead and check out that video for all the context, all the receipts, and then you can go ahead and form your opinion. One of the big pieces of evidence in this that like some people might say she really did do this was her saying that the gun went off twice. Some people had a lot of mixed comments in that video. Some people were saying that guns could go off twice. Guns could go off as many times as they want. Some people were saying that they can't. I don't know, I feel like it's a little fishy for a gun to just go off twice whether or not it fell and then for it to just 
hit him in the head. But uh, there hasn't been any updates between Jonathan and Anne Marie specifically. But Jonathan did tweet five months ago. There's no other social media activity from the both of them. But the last tweet that he tweeted and pinned to his Twitter page was learn.lesson.learn.life. So learn lesson, learn life. Y'all are free to interpret that however way you want to. But it seems like he's saying that he learned a lesson. I don't know. But Anne Marie's management came out with an update a few days ago and they said as representatives of Anne Marie's management team would like to thank all of you for your prayers and support please know that Anne has chosen to remain silent over the past six months out of respect for the criminal investigation this process and all of the parties involved in the coming weeks she hopes to come back to work and wants to thank all of her fans who have remained supportive and patient through these trying times sincerely management so disregarding and not mentioning you know, the case, the shooting, which is understandable. It's an ongoing case. It's an ongoing investigation. They can't really say too much anyway. Even though Tory Lanez has been saying a lot of shit while he has the case going on. So I don't know if this shows that, like, maybe she's innocent and that's why she's comfortable enough to go back to work. Or what is it? Because, like, of course you can't ignore this case that's been going on. Especially with headlines saying that she shot her boyfriend because of cheating. Like, that sounds crazy. Few people have been invested in it so it's just like you know bitch, like bitch we ain't forget <laughs> are you gonna say anything or i want to say her going back to work could show that she's like comfortable you know enough to go back to work that maybe she really didn't do anything and she had to take time to you know heal from a traumatic experience but i really don't know like <laughs> there be rappers and artists out here who done shoot some shit up and then go right to the studio and rap like nothing ever happened. I don't fucking know. But that has been my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down what you guys think below. What do you guys think about, on um, side note, Tina and CJ So Cool? What do you guys think about that situation? Do you guys think that Jasmine Tay or Nick and King would ever go back together? And what do you guys think about this Anne Marie case? Do you guys think that she's innocent? Do you think that she's guilty? Do you think that her and Jonathan were really just best friends? Comment down what you guys think below. Find my Instagram and my Snapchat Aisha Chrissy 2 S is 2 Ys. I love and appreciate you guys and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, she the girl. Oh, yeah. She the girl. She the girl.